Hey, we're back. Okay. Um, I just remembered that they have very bad employees here at this castle, and so they didn't fix the chain we just broke, and the bridge is down. Also remember, we don't have a magic sword anymore, so that's going to make things a little bit difficult when we're dealing with henchmen. Um, but I think I know where we have to go. We need to go directly downstairs, so let's try and head there as soon as we possibly can. Um, let's see... Hey, what did the hockey player do to the thief? Or give to the thief, that's what it was. Um, oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. He gave him a check. Ha ha ha. That's on a really lame popsicle I got. I accidentally bought the wrong brand of popsicles today. I'm really upset. Um, because they're all sugary and thick and disgusting. I don't know. Alright, so, ah, here we are. Okay, let's save. Now, okay, you can kill the Horn King with um, the mirror. I don't know how. I've never done that. I heard it's really hard. So if you'd like to give some input on that, be my guest, because I don't know. All right, let's see. Um, Rar. That's a good. That's a good save title. You examine the grate. It is merely resting against the wall. Oh. Oh no, the Horned King is lowering a skeleton in the Black Cauldron! The skeleton rises from the pile of bones and begins to march away. Another skeleton has risen from the pile of bones. Suddenly, Gurgi appears behind you! Tarn, stop! exclaims Gurgi. Don't jump in awful cauldron! Great Master has many friends! Gurgi has no friend. Gurgi will give his life for friend Tarin. Before you can stop him, Gurgi runs past you and leaps into the seething cauldron. Your friend Gurgi has sacrificed his life for you. Tears come to your eyes as you remember your friend, who you only met for like two seconds and gave an apple to. The cauldron begins to tremble violently, and emits a frightful roar, shaking the castle to its very foundations. The Horn King is destroyed. The castle walls tremble and shake. Stones fall and pillars collapse around you. The force of the exploding cauldron throws you out of the Horn King's secret chamber and into the moat. You grab a piece of floating wood and hang on for dear life. Hold on tight, Tarn. <laughs> ah! Hang on for dear life. Ah! This is crazier than the Popeye ride at Universal. Oh. Hey, it's the cauldron. Ugh. Well, young Tarin, things are not working out as you expected, are they? Cackle the witches. Perhaps a great hero is not all cracked up to be. Since you won't be using it, we've decided we want our cauldron back. Of course. Of course, we'll not steal it. We'll trade it for you. We offer you this wondrous book containing all the knowledge in the universe. Trade the cauldron for this, and you'll be the wisest man in all Pridane. You take the Book of Knowledge and become the wisest man in all Perdain. For the rest of your life, you wonder if you made the right choice. You always miss your friend Gurgi, and wonder if you could have done better on, in your quest. Okay, obviously there's a way to make them bring Gurgi back. Um, I don't know how to do that, so I'm going to look that up. I'll be right back. Alright, so I figured it out. Um, they actually offer you multiple things. We chose the first one. I didn't know there were multiple things. So, we're going to do them all, right? And the last one's the one you're supposed to choose, which is kind of obvious. So now that we're back here, 
we can figure out what's going to happen. Well, young Tarn, blah, 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 blah. Of course, blah, 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 blah. He'll be the wisest man all per day. They fly around for a while. It's your choice, Assistant Pig Keeper. We won't wait all day, though. If you don't want that, how about this? A pot of gold from the end of the rainbow. If you take this treasure, you'll be the richest ma person in all Perdane. You take the pot of gold and become the richest man in all Perdane. Live out the rest of your life in luxury. But discover that money is the, not the ultimate answer to happiness. Psh, yes, it is. You always miss your friend Gurgi and wonder if you could have done better on, in your quest. We're witches! Blah 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 blah! Blah 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 blah! Wise! Blah 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 blah! Blah 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 blah! Gold! You drive a hard bargain, pig boy! Here is our final offer! Give us the cauldron and we'll give you back your friend Gurgi! You lift the lifeless body of your friend into your arms. You hold Gurgi in your arms and long for the simpler days as an assistant pig keeper. You miss Gurgi, and as the tears well up in your eyes... Wait, what's this? Gurgi! You're... Gurgi, you're alive! You exclaim. Gurgi says, Hello, master! Surely you have some munchings and crunchings for an old friend! Whoops. We hope you've enjoyed your visit to Perdane, and your success with the Black Cauldron. Congratulations, you played a tremendous game. The end. All right. Um, we scored two hundred twenty-five out of two thirty. What the hell? Um, I'm gonna pause the video and see what I missed in a second. Hold on. All right. I found out what happened. Uh, we did everything correctly. But there's another alternative way, which I was saying, mentioning earlier, that gives us even more maximum points. We don't have enough time to do it in this video, so I'm going to make another video that'll be the last video, and it'll be quite quick, that shows how to get the 230 out of 230. Alright? See you next time.